Hey, today I want to show you how you can master over 40 authentic One, blues lines. Two. I'll see you inside the video. Hey, it's James here from eBay's Guitar and I'm super excited because at the time of making this video, we have just released our brand new Texas Blues Jam backing track album for bass guitar players. And today I want to give you a sneak peek of what's inside and show you how you can master 40 authentic blues bass lines. So the Texas Blues Jam backing track album is a set of 12 world-class blues bass backing tracks made especially for bass guitar players, inspired by some of the most legendary names from the Texas blues scene, from Etta James through to B.B. King, to the Allman Brothers, to Kenny Wayne Shepherd, all the way through to the Blues Brothers and Gary Moore. So what makes this album super special and very different, it uses our unique groove level system. So each backing track comes with three to five blues bass lines that you can learn all the way through. They start off from simple and straightforward and go to more intense and complex. So there is so much you can get your teeth into regardless of whether you're a beginner, an intermediate or a more advanced bass player. So what I want to do today is take one of the backing tracks from the album and show you how this works in practice. So I'm gonna take track 12 called True Blues, which is inspired by the Kenny Wayne Shepherd app track True Lies. So first off, I wanna show you level one, one so you can hear what the two, simplest version of this bass one, line sounds two, like. So level one has two components to it. It has this fundamental bass riff, which sounds like this. Which is simply an E, two C sharps, a D, a B, and an E like that. And that loops, and then you take it into the key of A. Then back over the chord of E. Like so, and then when we get to bar 10, which is the climax of the sequence, this actually has an unusual chord change in it, which is a G7 to an A7. And what the bass line does is it goes into straight pumping eight. Then back to the original riff like that. So let's check out those two simple concepts in action. level one sounds like. So let's move on to level two. This is the bass line and listen to how it develops. So we have this scalic run at the beginning with an octave, so low E, upper E, and then to a D, a C, and a B like that. And then we have these three sixteenth notes at the end, which is an A, an A sharp, and a B like that. So this is the riff. Now, exactly the same concept works again when we get to bar 10. What we've got is this octave chromatic pattern. So we start with a G octave, then we go down to an F, F sharp, G, and jump down again. And then the same thing again over the A. Then back to the original. So already you've got four really great ideas that you can play over the blues sequence.
keen and want to check out the Texas Blues Jam backing track album, there's a link in the description below, or you can visit the URL ebassguitar.com forward slash Texas. So let's move on to level three now. Now the great thing about this groove level concept is you are learning blues bass lines from beginning to end. You're not just learning random disconnected blues riffs. You're actually learning how to apply this stuff in the real world and you get something which sounds super, super cool and authentic at the end of it. So next we're gonna sort of up the gas a bit and we're gonna get a little bit funky with this bass line here. So basically, this is quite interesting. We open with an open E here, and then we go to a G, and then A, which is the fourth and the fifth up the octave, then back to the E, and then we have a 16th note right at the end of the third beat, and then we hit a G to the E. So we end up with this. really works with the funky groove that's going on behind this. Now when we get to bar 10 and 11, it straightens out a little bit and we play these octave or inverted octave patterns which sound like this. Then back to the original groove in over the chord of E. Now let's have a listen to what that sounds like in context. <laughs> So guys, I'd love to ask you, if you're enjoying this video, please make sure you like and subscribe to the E-Bass Guitar YouTube channel because we release a lesson every single week designed especially for the beginner to intermediate bass guitar player. There's a red button somewhere around this video. So we got to level four now. So what I want you to notice across all four of these levels is how we've been ramping up the intensity and building up our library of blues based ideas and concepts. Now this is a classic one. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna play the riff so it works in unison with the guitar part. So check this out, it sounds like this. So let me take that apart for you. So it's simply an octave E. And then we go from the E to the D to the B to the B flat like that. And then there's this cheeky fingering change here. I want you to move back onto the A there, to the G, to the A, to the G. So that's the one bar riff. Then you can take that up so it works over the chord of A. Then, so when we get to bars nine and 10, we get this more walking bass line. It's a little bit like Hey Joe from Jimi Hendrix. It sounds like this. And then back to that funky bass riff. of the video. So I really hope you've enjoyed this insight into the groove level system and can see how super powerful it is. So that leaves me with one more thing to tell you where you can listen to a sample of each of the backing tracks from the Texas Blues Jam backing track album. And of course, purchase your copy too. So there is a link in the description below or this video, or you can visit the web address ebassguitar.com forward slash Texas. 
Cheers, I've been James from eBay's Guitar and I'm really looking forward to hearing you guys jamming along with the brand new Texas Blues Jam backing track album. Link in the description below. I'll see you next week.